Today, you'll learn my free ChatGPT SEO strategy to automate reverse silos with AI. And this is one of the most powerful ways to interlink your articles and funnel authority to them so that they rank. You can see an example from my site. I'm going to give you the whole template today. This is my target page. Let's check where it's ranking. And you can see it ranking on the first page right here. And it's basically how we're getting results like this for my website. Plus, you can automate it all with ChatGPT. So I'm going to share with you the whole AI SEO strategy, how it works, the templates you can use, and basically everything you need to know to make more money and get better rankings using this strategy. So I want to teach you how to create reverse silos that look like this. You can put them in a nice tracker, but you don't have to worry about all this complicated stuff like this, because let's be honest, it's easy to mess this diagram up, especially if you have a team or whatever, and they don't understand what they're doing. So I'm going to make it much simpler and easier for you to follow. Now, this is a framework recommended by Kyle Rube, the reverse silo technique is a strategy that he recommends. And I'm basically going to show you step-by-step step how to automate this using ChatGPT. But first, let me quickly explain what reverse silos are and how they work. So first of all, this is kind of like a content structuring technique in SEO, right? So it organizes content into pillar and cluster pages. So I'm going to show you a brand new example that I'm trying to rank at the minute. But basically, if we look at this previous example, which actually created in May, feels like a long time ago. Now, if we take this keyword, let's check where it's ranking. So we can see this money page is ranking on the first page of Google, right at the top there, looking pretty good. In fact, it's only outranked by a government page. How? Because we've got this internal link structure that ensures we've reverse silos, all the authority is being pushed to this page. So this is our pillar content. And then here we have our cluster content. What is the pillar content? That's like your money page. What is the cluster content? These are specific articles related to subtopics of the pillar, right? So you can see, for example, if you've got your main page here, best bird feeders for Ohio, and then you've got the ethos free pages, which are like random FAQs about the topic, then they're all linking together. This basically channels authority from these articles to the main content. So if we take this keyword, for example, as well, and you can see how they're all internally linked together. We can see this is ranking on the first page of Google too, because this internal silo structure ensures not just your main page ranks, but also your cluster pages rank too. The only thing is, is very confusing, right? So you got these, so you got all your pages and then you need to figure out, okay, where do they link to each other, et cetera. But the beauty is you can easily automate this with chat GPT and AI. Let me show you how. So let's say, for example, you have some affiliate pages like this, and we're trying to rank for the keyword SE ranking for this content on my website, as you can see here. Now we haven't got five pages here, we've got four, but basically we can link them together in this reverse silo strategy to ensure that we have the best possible chance of ranking. And these are all semantically related, right? SE ranking review, SE ranking prices, SE ranking tool, SE ranking versus SEMrush, et cetera. These are all semantically relevant pages that we can put together in a reverse silo structure. So what you can actually do is if you go to advanced data analysis on chat sheet. you can say, give me a reverse silo template in a CSV with formulas, right? And it will give you a structure like this. It will explain, okay, what's the difference between your pillar and your cluster content, etc. So let me guide you through step-by-step step how to use this structure. So for example, let's say you pick an affiliate scheme like SE ranking, right? I'm in the SEO niche. My website is related to SEO. Therefore trying to rank for this affiliate keyword would make sense. By the way, good tool. I've used it and tested it myself. Bit cheaper than Ahrefs. So how do we rank for it? So what we're going to do is find some easy keywords related to SE ranking. So SE ranking tool, that's the page that's going to bring in the money and therefore you want to funnel all the authority in your reverse silo to get that ranking. But on top of that, we can see some other keywords that are lower keyword difficulty that we could link to it. So for example, SE ranking prices, SE ranking review, SE ranking versus SEMrush. These are all good opportunities to create a reverse silo structure. So you basically want to find semantically relevant keywords that you can link as cluster pages to your main money page. That's how to do the keyword research. Now, if you don't know how to do that, you can just put in your main money keyword into Google and then scroll down to people to ask, right? And you've got a bunch of cluster pages that you could create for this reverse silo technique. And each of them are gonna be very low competition. You could just create 500 or a thousand words for each page, and that'd be pretty much it. Then from here, what you need to do is create the content. So you can see we've already published the pages and the content each cluster page. There we go. I actually did this with auto blogging AI. And you can see the content is very in-depth. It's got some tables, etc. It's inserted some YouTube videos. You can do whatever you want though. I mean, if you want to use chat GBT4, you could also do that. You know, create the content however you want. Human written still works. Now, once you've got those pages published and you've created all the pages that you're going to interlink together, 
what you can actually do is go on to chat GPT like so. What I've actually done is taken my notes from my previous reverse silos template video and then plug that into chat GPT like so, which you can see here. And then from here, we've actually asked chat GPT to create the whole template so that I can figure out which pages to interlink and the example based on my pages already published, right? So what it's doing here is it's figuring out, okay, what's the target page that we want to rank, which is this one out of all of these pages. And then it's taken an example from my site and figured out, okay, which page is the target page, which pages are supporting, and then how do we need to link these together, which you can see right here in this column. So now we can pop this into a sheet like so, just so that it's easier to see for you. And it's basically automated what was a very complicated process and told us exactly which pages need to link together based on this silo. And then you can do this for any sort of reverse silo that you want to link together. Makes everything simpler, saves time, very efficient. Plus it's easy to visualize, okay, which pages and targets, which ones need to be linked together and the reasons why, AKA the notes. Now this is even better if you have a bigger reverse silo where you've got maybe 10 pages you need to link together and you need to figure out, okay, how do I link those together in terms of the right architecture? And it's a very, very simple process. And then from here, what we can do is edit these three pages and we just need to insert the internal links like so. How are we going to do that? Very simple. Let's go in and edit the post. So we can find relevant anchor text, for example, like this one, insert our internal link like so. With internal links, you can be a bit more aggressive with the anchor text versus external backlinks. And there we go. We've added the internal links. Then you can just highlight it green once you've done. Let's go to the next one. And basically that's how it worked. Now, here's the other thing as well. If you were creating the content from scratch and you already had this template set up, then you could actually even automate the internal links yourself. So for example, if you've got my free course already, then you can go straight to the AI SEO strategy section. If not, make sure you check it out. Link is in the comments. And if you scroll down to my crazy free chat GPT-4 strategy, we can take the prompt like so, which is right here, go to plugins, enable web pilot, and then just replace the keyword with whichever piece of content you write in. So let's take, for example, SE ranking prices. And then instead of searching web pilot, for your website and internal links, you can just say internally link to these. Insert the two internal links recommended for the silo. Hit enter and hopefully that should generate the content and the internal links for this page. So you can see it's right in the content now. And then you can see it is creating the internal links right here. So it's inserted some bullet points, YouTube videos, etc. And then we have two internal links for the reverse silo structure, linking right here inside the content. And basically with this whole process, you can automate the keywords as I've already shown you. You can automate the reverse silo structure and the interlinking architecture between them with ChatGPT. And then you can even use ChatGPT to insert the internal links for the reverse silo structure. So basically everything you needed to think about and sort out manually yourself is now automated using this process. And this is based on a proven strategy that helps your content rank as we've talked about previously for this silo right here. So that's basically it. Thanks very much for watching. If you want this prompt for creating ChatGPT4 content and this template for reverse silos, then you can get that inside my free course. Links in the comments. And inside that free course, you can also find these 50 SEO ChatGPT prompts that you've probably seen me test in other videos. If you haven't already, it's all in the free course. But basically it's got content prompts, YouTube prompts, optimization, keywords, topical maps, even some free tools in there. And if you want to book in a call about how to get more leads, traffic and sales to your website with SEO, then feel free to book that in. Links in the comments as well. And we'll answer any questions that you have and basically show you exactly how we can help you quickly outrank your competitors with link building and grow your business. So thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. Bye bye.